June, June. 30th. June 30th, 2015. So all in favor of approving the monthly expenditure report as submitted, um, subject to audit? Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's why I have my Madam Secretary. <laughs> Are we missing a month on item number two? It's February, March, April, May, and June. Speak on the mic, please. Are we missing? Can you hear me? <laughs> Are we missing a month on item number on line number two? February, March, April, May, and June. You said six months. I only see five. Does it include January? Um, the invoice is for five months. Oh, five months. So January was charged separate. So the invoice okay. on the wall uh, will show you the one for January, which was eighty-eight dollars five hours, and the five months will be ninety-nine dollars, which is five and a half five and a half hours times twenty-two dollars an hour, brings you to that. So this is for five months. We uh, we asked that they open at five because we have a lot of setup to do, and there's only two of us here to set up every time. So we did we do need at least an hour to set up. Okay. I just needed to correct that because I know you said six months. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. That was my bad. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and take a vote. Um, Capricia. Yes. Michelle. Yes. Gamma. Yes. Ruben. Yes. Cynthia. Yes. Angela. Nick isn't here. Augie? Yes. Yoli? Yes. And I vote yes. Um, Victor? No. Mar Marlene? Abstain. Motion passes 911. Thank you. The monthly expenditure report for February is approved, subject to audit. Um, next on the agenda is our consent calendar. However, because we do have um, people here from USC that are down on item 16, I'm, I don't want to not get to them that they've gone out of their way and come here. So if, if it's okay, if somebody... I make a motion to move item 16 to be discussed in here. I'll second that. Uh, Capricia made the motion to move item 16 up to next on the agenda, seconded by Gamaliel Andrade. All in favor? Uh, it's Any oppositions? Abstentions? 901, I mean 900, because I'll, I'll go ahead and. There was uh, one abstention. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. 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 You're abstaining? Oh. oh. He's kind of like the way 11? Oh. Motion passes 11 zero, zero. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and move up item 16. And let's see. This is discussion and possible action. We have a motion that the LA32 Neighborhood Council support the Hyatt House Hotel Project located on San Pablo and Alcazar at the USC campus. Um, I'll, uh, this project will begin in mid-early 2017 and take approximately 20 months to complete. Use will be for families of hospital patients, academic conferences, as well as regular use, and will also include retail space. As um, the gentleman described earlier, there's one sit-down restaurant that's currently unleased, and fa five fast food, which includes Starbucks, Fat Burger, Yogurt Land, my fave, Slaw Dogs, and Z Pizza. This, um, this was heard by the Land Use Committee on February 23rd, and the support was approved by the Land Use Committee 201. So, um, if somebody will move the motion on the table. Move the motion. Thank you. Is there a second? I second. Thank you. So, the motion on the table is as reads moved by Ruben Ch Chavez and second by Capricia Vallecillo. Now open to public discussion. Is there any public comment, questions, concerns on this item? Um, hold on. Oh, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, you had a public a comment card on it. Mr. Williams. How many minutes? Two minutes. It's only one speaker. All right. Okay. Uh, basics. What has USC and LA County done for El Sereno and LA 32 Neighborhood Council? Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council? Or Boyle Heights? neighborhood councils. Their outreach for both the 
Med Center plan and for USC plan. Oh, did you know that those exist? That they were done a couple years ago? But did they come here? No, not really. Because they don't care. It's the castle mentality. If you look at the drawings as to how they're focused, Valley Boulevard gets the parking lot and the parking structure from USC, which means that either Soto or Valley will be the only access points to that parking structure and to this hotel. Soto is being upgraded and it will eventually become a major arterial similar to that of Fremont. So it's a bypass. If you go to Monterey Road and South Pass, you can go from there down to Chavez on Monterey Road and Soto. So we're being asked to look at and approve something. In fact, that's already been approved through the USC environmental CEQA documents. It's already done deal. Mm -hmm. So all we're getting is a little bit of eh, publicity. Oh, has anyone traveled on Valley during the day? And have you seen the parking lot on both sides of Valley? Is that, does that help LA 32 Neighborhood Council area or Lincoln Heights or Boyle Heights? No. It's the castle mentality. How many buses can stop at this location? Not many. So vote against it. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other public comment on this item? We'll now open it up for board discussion, starting to the left. Angela? Yes, I have a question. I, if I remember correctly, it's not really in the jurisdiction of LA32, correct? It's in Lincoln Heights? Yes. Have we spoken to Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council's Land Use Committee just to see if what their feedback and what their support is for this project? I'm writing it down, but I won't address it until it's, it's oh, my turn to speak. Oh, we're just doing general that. comment. I, so I, I would like to know if the, the input of the other neighborhood councils. Okay, Augie? Augie, no? Yoli? Um, I, just, I just want to state that um, Mr. Williams is correct in saying that this project has already been approved pretty much by the city because um, USC applied for rezoning and that has already been taken care of. So what they are building is by right at this point. And that's all I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Gama? Gama? Uh, I just want to say that if we did that if we did have an input, you know, I would be totally against it because like Mr. Williams says, I have passed through Valley, you know, during the day. It's like a damn parking lot, you know, they own the street. They own the Sears building across the street. I mean, you know, they, they took homes away from people that I knew, you know, so, you know, but if it's a done deal, then why even bring it up? Kabisha? Um, first, I would like to address um, Angela's concern during the, during the presentation that was presented about USC Hyatt House. They mentioned that they did get the um, approval of the Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council and also the Lincoln Heights um, Land Use Committee as well. Um, since this is sort of after the fact, I would like to make a, a request and see if, if Hyatt House can do a little outreach to ensure that some of the jobs that are um, for, for some of this commercial space, that they, are, that they look to residents first, to people that are at least within Northeast LA, to ensure that the application process is so that that um, that our residents can get jobs and also maybe perhaps our residents can also help in the construction process as well. We do have residents that do have some of that expertise. Maybe look at some of the small businesses to see if we can do some outreach to them. We have a local hardware store as well, a true value hardware store. Maybe some of the materials can be purchased there to sort of enrich the, um, the different businesses that we have locally. Um, also, one thing I... Remember that you mentioned that there would be some sort of community center. I mean, are some 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 sort of conference rooms that were being um, that were to be built, and to see if perhaps that you can make those conference rooms, those community rooms available 
um, that for, for meeting space for local nonprofits, for local civic organizations such as this neighborhood councils, because uh, maybe maybe we can have our board retreat there. So, or we we can have a nice space where we can invite members of the community out and to use it, especially at no cost, because that's a big thing that we have limited resources and we we don't have the funds to pay, you know, the the regular conference rate. Fee that you would have that you would have outside entities pay. So if you could please keep some of that into consideration, uh, we would appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to say also, um, yeah, uh, the Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council did uh, did support the project. Um, in regards to the parking, I believe that at the Land Use Committee it was discussed that people are parking on, on Valley Boulevard right now. We, that hopes. There's hopes that that will be alleviated once the parking structure is up. And it's, um, it was also stated that I believe 100 spaces are going to be either really low um, free or for low income students. So that would also, or not low income students, free or at a reduced cost. Oh, free. Okay, 100. They're required to have 100 parking spaces free. So that, that hopes to free up um, the parking that's been taking place on Valley Boulevard. Um, jobs, that, that's important. I, I would like to see some of those, the fast food restaurants, if they can work with maybe some of the schools and get some of our high school seniors like jobs through there, work with our education committee on that or, or something to that effect. It, it was, um, there was a concern that the community brought up as far as the leasing space and it was addressed that um, they did get some local, people who have local businesses or, or they had chains or franchises that were local, some in Alhambra, some in neighboring communities that have leased that space. The leases are from five to ten years and it was also asked of them at that point that when the leases are up that they do do outreach to our community and maybe get some mom and pops in there, some of our restaurants that might be able to to move into the, the big corporate world at this point. Um, that's all I have. But I do support the project personally. No questions, no comment. Michelle? Um, I trust that our land use committee is doing a good job on this, so I support it. Thank you. Uh, Ruben? Oh, goodness. We're standing now. Okay. I do approve. Is this thing on? Yes. I do approve the project 100% because it's going to be jobs, whether from the community or not, for people that need those jobs. And afterwards, when the construction's done, It'll be here forever, and it'll be people from the community applying there for all kinds of jobs that the campus, the entire campus has to offer. As far as the land use, as you heard from Lincoln Heights, has approved it. If anyone wants to know anything regarding this project at Lincoln Heights, go to their land use meetings. They publicize when they have the meetings, okay, on the internet. And as far as the parking lot is concerned, I hope you take it back. Uh, you have to put it somewhere, and as we heard from the uh, PhD sitting, standing back there, he didn't give an alternate place where to put the parking lot. You have to put it somewhere. If you chose there, there has to be a reason why. You probably did studies on it. I would like to see a signal light put on there, because as you know, on Mission right here, just before the bridge, the Soto Bridge, that uh, where you work, what's it called? Yeah, it's 21, they have a parking lot, an underground parking lot, and they have a heck of a time coming out, out of there, and they need some kind of a signal there also, but if you can consider that in the parking lot, make sure they put a, a light signal so people can get out and make uh, their left turns, you know, going, going towards LA. Thank you. Cynthia? Uh, yes, I was not able to attend any of the meetings, but I did um, hear all of your responses and at this point I do support the project. Thank you. Victor? Yes, thank you. Yeah, um, I think it's a great project. I, I, I support this. If we bring jobs to the community, I will support this 100%. But uh, I do have concerns with uh, just two questions regarding the security. Will they be on site security there? Will they use the uh, USC security? Uh, who will be patrolling that area? And the other uh, question is, is how much are the rooms? Are they going to be affordable? 150. Those are the two questions I asked. Okay, great. Uh, is that all? 50. Okay. Um, anybody have any responses coming back this way? 
Ruben, do you have a response for him? No? Uh, to any of his concerns that he addressed? Yes, uh, as far as the affordable uh, prices of whatever that is, it's probably people that make uh, 40000 they consider them poor. Or 50000 families, they consider them poor. I don't know of anybody here making that. Well, it might be one or two here. Ruben! <laughs> <We're laughs> <We're laughs> okay, we're moving on. Yeah, but, uh, renting. Mich uh, Michelle? No. Luisana. Again, the main use was for families. So, so it was detailed that families, you know, when people are having treatments at the cancer hospital or at, at the hospital, surrounding hospitals, the families don't have anywhere to stay. And sometimes it's long-term treatments. They're staying downtown and having to travel in and out. There's nowhere around there for them to leave the hospital and go get a quick bite. So this is something that would um, really help the families of, of people who are getting the major care that they need. As far as the rooms go, I believe they said $139 would be the rate. The going rate, but you can look on Expedia and Priceline and probably get it a little cheaper. And I don't know that any of you are going to be vacationing in Lincoln Park. <laughs> Honeymoon. Um, I don't have your answer to the security question, but